so welcome back and in this video we are going to discuss in more detail on the properties of whole numbers but before we go into those details let's have a quick look at what are the basic operations that we can do on numbers if we see the basic mathematical operations that we can do on numbers they would be basic operations those basic operations would be addition subtraction multiplication and division so these are the four basic operations that we can do now when we study the properties of whole numbers right we will be studying various properties of whole numbers after performing these four basic operations so uh, let me just give you a list of the properties that we are going to study here mm, with respect to the whole numbers and the properties would be the first one is we are going to study the closure property second we go for studying the commutative property third property that we'll be studying is associative property fourth one would be distributive property and the fifth one would be the identity property so let me just tell you what precisely we'll be doing we'll take a set of whole numbers then we perform addition subtraction multiplication and division and see whether this property is identified or not or this property is fulfilled or not and the same thing we will be doing for all the other properties as well now do not worry if you don't know what closure means or what commutative means what all these means i'll be covering them in detail as we go through one by one so having said that let's start and uh, start exploring the properties of whole numbers but before that i mean there will be a question why do we study properties at all right why to study the properties why are we increasing our uh, why are we making our lives more difficult by adding something more to study why to study properties so there are two precise reasons why we do that the first one is that these properties help us understand the numbers better the numbers better and second and more important for us let me just write here the second one it is that they make calculations simpler for some operations so that is the other one make calculations simpler for some operations so that is the reason why it is advantageous for us to study the properties so having said that now let us first start exploring the closure property so let's start studying the closure property now before before we just go into the details of it what do we mean by closure property what closure means is that let's say we do an operation i mean as as we identified that we have these operations addition subtraction multiplication and division let's say we do any of these operations on on a on two whole numbers okay and then we check for the result and and then if we see that the result of any of these operations if it is also a whole number then we say that this particular mathematical operation right is closed under 
mathematical operations or we say that the whole numbers are closed under that so i mean let, let me try to explain to you it in more detail so let's first start with addition okay we first start with addition okay so now let's let's try to add two whole numbers so i add 1 with 2 i get an answer 3 then let's say we add 0 plus 5 it will give me 5 then other addition which is possible is let's say 199 plus 1 this will give me 200 these are all simple and so on so you can keep on going and take as many examples as you like you can take 999 plus 2 which will be equal to 1001 and you could just add any 7 plus 10 it will be equal to 17 now so we what what we have done we have added two whole numbers and then we have an answer so this is the addition so now let's see is 3 a whole number yes it is is 5 a whole number yes it is so we are checking the result in numbers is 200 a whole number yes it is a whole number is 1001 a whole number yes it is a whole number is 17 a whole number yes it is a whole number so now if you can keep on adding any two numbers any two whole numbers you will always observe that the result re resulting or the result is always a whole number and this is what implies that whole numbers are closed under addition so let me just put words to it so what we observed here is that addition of two whole numbers always results in another whole number always results in another whole number because of this okay because of this we can say that whole numbers whole numbers are closed under addition so let me just reiterate what we did we added two whole numbers we saw what is the result is that number a whole number if yes then and if we see this consistent that all the results of addition lead to a whole number then we say that it is a it satisfies the closure property under addition so that's what so what we have proved we proved that whole numbers are closed under addition this is what you, you, you can try this